Welcome back to my YouTube channel, ladies and gentlemen. Today, as you see, I have a, a chamber here. I'm going to plant a... It is an evening guys and today we are going to start our video from here it's evening it's around uh, at 4 p.m depending on where you are watching from we don't know but in africa kenya specifically Nyanza, kids region or highlands it's at 4 p.m but from, from where you are watching from it depends the, the time you are watching it i don't know what time it is and today we are going to make a good video showing you um, my kitchen farm and then how I'm going to plant actually a circus of banana which I acquired from someone a woody uh, Samaritan who said that to help me with it and told me you know Opta go and plant this one later you will thank me so I'm going to plant them already I've already made some holes where I'm going to plant them but one of the holes it has a lot of manure which has not already been in a uh, late for plantation so i had to plant those two suckers on one hole so i later i will find another sucker that i'm going to plant on the the other remaining hole actually you can uh, sort them on how my farm is looking like actually this is how it looks like so guys i'm welcoming you to my youtube channel guys remember to subscribe those who already subscribes i'm really thankful to you for your support that you are giving me i'm totally cherishing you for your support and please considering supporting me for those who already have not subscribed guys go and hit the pattern of subscription there and for those who wish i had to have to advise up one i'm free you are free to talk anything guys because these things we learn from mistakes and if you have realized my mistake you can uh, 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 you can you can advise me according to where you think like here up to us to do like this and like that so you can comment on comment section and i think uh, i get your views but now you think about this video i'm going to do or if you have some other information on how to plant actually bananas you can comment on the comment section so that i can understand and now i'm going to plant the other uh, the other banana and the, the remaining all uh, that are placed for uh, for it to be ready for plantation actually apart from that guys i'm going to show you types of pumpkins we have actually i know most of you don't know how types of pumpkins we have, pumpkins we have we have actually more than two but in my farm all of our kitchen garden we have two types of pumpkins and i'm going to show you those two types of pumpkins apart from that i'm going also to show you types of we pea wheat we have actually we have uh, three th uh, three or four uh, around four types of pea wheat but in, in our kitchen farm we have two types of them the one which is a traditional pea wheat which lasts for a long time before it's dry up and the other one which takes almost th three months the moment it gives out flowers that's the end of it so i'm going to show you about that apart from that i'm going to show you and tell you types of sweet bananas we have we have bananas two types of bananas and two types of sweet bananas that we have actually so all those of things i'm going to show you so i think you are going to enjoy my video and other things which i'm going to show you all the other information which came on the way as i'm showing you what uh, our kitchen farm entails now guys welcome and we do the flower of the day I'm going to use the chamber and this one is to remove those uh, roots of the suckers and I even cleaning my removing the soil which has already stick to the uh, my chamber apart from there you can see here uh, these steps of manure I'm going to use down there but already I've put some of them in the in the holes and I've covered the one the other one I dig it recently so the manure in that one is not ready for like this one this one i can use it but down there 
it does another manure which has already of recent uh, I can say of recent so it cannot be used in the plantation of that banana so I think you can enjoy this video and for those who already new viewers keep supporting me guys and those who I actually they do what they unsubscribe I don't know why if something has not gone the way you expected guys instead of unsubscribing just comment there tell me after you have to do these things like this that way this way so I can do it and for those who are supporting me like the G10 group guys they are doing good work I also give them shout out shout out that guys for those who are supporting me you can also support the G10 actually the uh, group which is educating young generation and how they can do these things also uh, I'm, I'm i'm requesting you that keep supporting me keep uh, watching my videos and if you have any frog that you wish like we are to do we can do it and uh, also on the side of the g10 actually they are doing what we call interviews uh, measuring mostly on the projects young generations shall make and do it. so if you have any project you wish like the other generation from other parts of the world to see you can invite them thank you for the process of planting it even you can see there are so healthy bananas here and there's another range of food down there that is the bananas and today i want to add one more uh, banana so you can I think you can enjoy with me the video that we are going to make on how to plant a sweet banana or a banana now let's go and show you that already i've acquired a, a banana from somewhere which is not near here so you have to come so that you can we can we can show them and as i as i've told you this is our key, which, uh, kitchen garden you can sort them here there's a spider flower these are a kenya chip mm, Actually, they're too small that to an extent you cannot show, you cannot see them. You see, this is the kitchen garden, and I have planted the tree, uh, the spider bra. When they are grown up, they are grown up. They, they look like this one. They have uh, flowers. Those are the spider flower. They actually called spider flower. The reason why they are called spider flower. Can you see how this? this leaf is looking like there are spider flowers now here yeah, the bosses holes also we have terere the peewit yeah we have two types of peewit actually this is the one of the peewit this is a traditional peewit and the mzungu is peewit is here hope you can see the difference between this one and this one the luxury peewits and the lady po, both of them. Yeah. Here we have kude. You can sort them. This is kude. Never kunde. It's actually called kunde. This is a kunde. Also, this is a manag. I don't know how we call them in English. So, actually, you can see also I have kari scales to the other side. Scales. Yes, this is the my farm or kitchen farm. Actually, we have different types of uh, um, different types of vegetables. I think in vegetables we have a lot of them. You even you can wonder whether the, some of them do exist. There's marenge, there's pumpkin. Actually, in Gusi we eat pumpkin leaves as uh, vegetables. And they're so sweet. I'm going to show you the the pumpkin, which I've already planted here in my farm. It's so sweet. That is uh, one of the vegetables to be up in Africa. Now, is, here is the process. And the, the suckers that I've told you, which I bought yesterday, I failed to take a video where I put them because I was not aware like I'm going to take a video on that place. And that's the reason why I never be, take, a, take a video while I was given this one. 
and now there are two of them this this one uh, they are from the same same banana this is uh, an improved banana actually they are called improved banana and here we have some of the in, uh, traditional improved bananas you can show them yes those are the let me show them uh, some of the bananas we have here now here are some of my the bananas that we have planted you can see how they are looking like so guys the reason why i bought this one these bananas which are down here uh, some of them they do not exist in so guys uh, we had to to holes where we were I, we were to plant we were to plant our suckers this one but my dad told me like we had to to change our mind from planting them due to that if you see on this hole there is a lot of manure actually so deep to an extent that he said if we plant here it cannot do well because this plant uh, this hole has a lot of manure they can uh, rot actually so we we decided to change our mind i wanted to plant one here the other one here where is my brother is working is preparing for uh, for it to plant there so i had to plant both of them there here i have to get another sucker from from my farm actually to plant it here so that's the reason why we changed our mind yes see you mekua i think that one has we have prepared it enough now guys i have to take the process of uh, planting also there's a lot of my brother who is coming from up there actually this is the one who is mostly working with uh, yaku 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 zela now hold me a camera so that i can brand it yes let, let me tell them me also i'm working with this one this is the gentleman that i'm working with and this one here is working with yaku yaku sela snivel guys i have to put this one here this one cannot mature it, it has it has not matured enough so it, it does not have seeds which can be planted to grow again so this is our waste actually i have to put here for my new open my sugar cane here now the process of planting you bring us a, a, a panga panga we used it to, to prepare there now guys as you see uh, this old big big an extent to an extent that it cannot hold one sack actually but so i have to plant one like here i have to plant it i don't know sniffle i plant it like this instead of planting them so i have to plant one here and the another one here but now the problem is that if i plant the other one here in the next one year you can find these bananas have already grown up this area no? in the next one year you can find that has grown to this area and it has also grown to this area sorry around one two meters around two meters around will have a lot of suckers from there these two main bananas apart from there i have planted avocado here you can sort them actually we are going to leave this avocado to grow this is avocado we are going to leave it to grow actually because the home with a lot of fruits it's a beautiful home now let me prepare a hole after this one then you dig another hole where we are going to place those actually i have to tell you that yes there's some manure down it which we covered with a, a with the soy to rot you can you can come close so, so that they can see this uh, 
Look at this. Look at this soil. This one is black and the other one is kind of brown. This is manure which has already gotten enough to an extent. Now we can we can plant a banana after there. We give it like three months. After giving like three months, it will start growing and germinating out the the, the, the the roots. After there, we are going to add some manure now. On top of here. We continue until the manure reaches somewhere like here. Now, let me continue digging. I think this is all enough for, for planting. I think to plant one after the other. Help me with those things. Yes. Right now, uh, we are going to plant them. But we are not going to plant it with this roots as they are. Now we have to, to trim it to an extent, like, like this. Yeah. Now this one is good for planting. And we give them like uh, one month or two, one to two months, it will start growing. Because you can find out that these roots are three, they matched well with strong. Now we have to put them like this. Good job, and we will set it up. Actually, I'm with my brothers here. This is my brother. He's helping me here. Now we are not going to return in this kind of soil that we have removed from there. The hole we are going to return this one with as no more manure because this one will help it to terminate this ring. The one with manure will cause it to rot. After this, <clears throat> yes, after that. We take like this so that no more. The reason why we are doing like this, we, we prevent air from entering inside there. And it causes to not to determinate where. After that, we have to, to do like this. And I think we have done. After then, I have to plant this one here to avoid it from going into the tea After doing like that, also this one, I have to do like this to remove this roots so that I can plant it. Now this one, we have to put it straight. We plant it well, it's upright. Can I help me to hold this one? After that,
Yes. Now we have planted this one. But our aim was not to plant them on the same hole. But due to the other one was not ready for planting, we are going to bring another one from for that one. But let's give this room for fantasy. Now let's go. After this year, I'm going to another work actually. Now you can help me with this one. Yes, guys, let's explain something here. Yeah, I think you have seen uh, this tree. Uh, this tree, it's a uh, apple medicine, actually. It acts as a uh, apple medicine. Uh, it uh, helps us. This tree, I don't know whether you know it. It helps us to prevent some evil eyes. Those when the child has been, I don't know how I can call it, from the evil eyes, uh, it affected the child. Now this thing, when it's dry, you, you tie it to the cloth, or the cloth of the child, and it actually prevents the evil eyes. Apart from that, it also helps in killing the ebicheke. I don't know how we call them in any... English, but in mother tongue, we call them ebicheke. Actually, you find them on the tips here, the fingertips. That's where you normally get them. Actually, I have some, someone here, there's one of them here uh, in my, my hand. Actually, they are looking like this one. We applied this medicine. I've tried to apply them, but after I uh, apply them, it takes some time and it comes back. This is what we call Ebicheke. I don't know. You can see this is Ebicheke. Now, this is the medicine we actually apply on that. Now, you can see my um, kitchen farm. It has a lot of, a lot of, a lot of things. Apart from there, we have... Uh, let me show you. We have... But from... Apart from there, we have also tobacco. In my farm, I, we have tobacco. Actually, this is a tobacco that I have planted here. I'm not inhaling it, but I'm using as a medicine for the uh, ants. I have uh, poultry farming. It helps in uh, curing some diseases in, uh, in the poultry farming, poultry farm. So we apply that one. Also, now you can see that tree is see actually. It's a peak now. It's peak. And it's seen clearly. Yes, this is my kitchen farm. And this is how it looks like, guys. This is how it's looking like. Yes. Apart from there, I have told you I have some pumpkins. And there are two different types of pumpkin in my farm actually there are two of them the first one is this one you can see it gives out the uh, yellow flowers this one but the main pumpkin it's looking like this you see but this one looks like this this is one of my pumpkins that i've planted here but i've not filled them they're actually spread out uh, like this this one it has small leaves actually the other difference is this one from the one which is up there this one has small leaves and actually we do use this these leaves for vegetables actually guys we are normally use this fruits uh, these leaves for vegetables these are vegetable for the goosey people we apply this one as vegetable and you heat it with uh, ukali yes apart from there i have also sweet bananas i planted this one recently but has given out some tree suckers there's this one the another one is here the another one is here guys yes. do you see how my work is but i have not withered them for too long it has taken time due to that i have been in school 
and I came home less than three. Now I decided to visit my farm, my kitchen farm, and now to see its progress. But I found out that we have left some weeds here. Yes, do you see this also? This is a tree which is here. Okay, guys, also we have two different types of sweet banana. Actually, there are three of them. There are this one, uh, we have this one, and we have the other one, which is, we call it Poco Poco, which is too big now. It acts like a, a Kenyech banana, Kenyech banana, a traditional banana, sweet banana, uh, a banana. This Poco Poco acts like that. They stay the size and everything is the same and the shape. Also, we have that those sweet bananas which are too small, but they taste sweet one. That's another type of banana, a sweet banana, actually. And we have the another one which is uh, actually purple. The leaves and the the, 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 the the final product actually it's looking, it looks purple. Yeah. Actually, the top there, there's another things there, there's uh, sugar canes, we have avocado, we have the other things there, like sweet bananas, which are already grown up, bananas. Now, this is how my farm looks like. But before we go to where we were to plant our banana, let me show you the other pumpkin we had. Guys. I told you we have types of pigweed. This is a pigweed which is growing the height. I don't know whether you can see this side clear. Let me stand from here. You see the height of this pigweed. In our village, we call this one a traditional pigweed. It actually uh, lasts for like one year without before it dies or dry up. Yeah, yes, this is a a pea weed, which is a traditional vegetable. From the apart from the recent one, I don't know whether you can see this one. This one, um, uh, this this pea weed is different from uh, the the other one. Also, this one does not really last for long, like two to three months it will dry up. But this one, it will exist for a long time. Also, there are two, three types. There's this one, and this one, and the other one, which is having big, big leaves, and the leaves are so strong. Yeah, you can see I have also kales there. Now, I've told you there are two types of pumpkin, the other one and this one. You see this one, now it is big. It has pig ribs here. It has two pig ribs. Apart from that, I want to show you on how the pumpkin itself looks like. Guys, do you see this one? Do you see this pumpkin? It is different from the other one. The other one was having too much greenish and with some strips of rains colors, but this one, it is totally green, you know? When it grows up, let me show you where it is big. Now, do you see this one? It's big than, bigger than the, with greenish. I don't know about the, the, the other one is here also. Also, the, the, the difference is that these stems of leaves, they actually are too big. You see? The, the other one has small leaves, and its stems was not as small actually. Yeah. This is the manure I've put here for bananas. I'm going, I'm going to take them to bananas so I can point to the bananas. Now here, the one I was telling you, this is now the difference between the other one and this one. Yeah, you see, it has small leaf stems. Now this one has another. You see the difference with the other one? Yeah, this is two types of pumpkins. Actually, they do they look like this, and uh, when it grows big, that fruit it acts like this. I don't know whether you can see this one. Hmm? These two, actually, this one has been broken. 
long time ago you can see like someone stepped on it now let me show you i use this one as an example so that you can understand the difference you can do okay yeah. actually that's a lot of a lot of fruits see there's another one there's another one there yeah. now i have to use this one so that you can understand now the difference but i don't know whether mom to find me here you can show that to me now guys look here at the difference this one is different from this one both of them they are young they have not grown to mature now this is the difference we have this one has a uh, greenish this one is not that much green and this one it is not sweet like this one actually this one too uh, it actually it is sweet than this one hmm? and the leaves of this is not sweet no they are more sweeter than the leaves of this this pumpkin you know now that is the difference we have actually another difference is that the, this pumpkin this one it's like uh, take long time before it mature like this one this one takes so time to mature another thing is that this one after maturing you have to give it like another one month while you are storing them on a, a dry area to to dry up or to dehydrate actually that's the way it goes to dehydrate then you can cook them but this one you can remove it from the uh, from the garden and you cook it directly so that's the difference we have from there now let's go back to the the main agenda we have today of planting the banana the suckers of banana guys also i have some for your support let's meet on another episode so that we see on how we can educate the young generation actually this is what i'm doing this is what i where i get some money from this is the project i'm doing actually i have this one i have the other one of the bricks actually you have been hearing me saying oh bricks are making bricks are making bricks now today before we end actually this one i'm going to show you the bricks that we plant the, the, the other week actually i'm going to post some videos of those the planning process of bricks but today i'm going to show you on now the bricks are going on that's the another project apart from this actually guys so i think this video is educating those guys who are out there saying oh the government has no job they didn't need any whatever they actually this is what i'm doing i'm not depending on anyone this is something i i, I actually planted like it has not costed me a lot but after one year i'm going to make a lot of money from here this all it is going to give me more than like more than six uh, peak bananas and imagine one banana is 800 800 and six that is uh, 42 i think it's for two thousand here her own actually now count how many uh, uh, maybe how many also the bananas that are there's this one the other one one uh, one two three four five six seven eight it's eight the other one are up there so that's the eight times 42 a lot of money guys i'm going to pay so uh, let me hope that this project is educating someone how they actually now before we end here i'm going to go to the river site where we actually it's uh we call it rivers at coast those bricks i burn it them across the deliver i'm going to show you on the next video actually i'm going to post another video which is showing you on how to burn bricks all those process until then process actually thank you keep watching and may god bless you for those who are supporting me may you get someone to support you and support